Hey everyone, it's JD, uh, Smart Cleaner, and so I just wanted to touch on something that uh, we're starting to see a lot of posts in all the different groups. Um, one thing that's really important to be aware of if you advertise in any free type classified sites, for instance, Craigslist or in Canada, um, Kijiji, um, Canada does have both. Um, Craigslist is, you know, the big US one, obviously. Um, when you place an ad in there, something you have to be really, really aware of as a small business owner is that there are a lot of people out there going through these ads looking to scam you and rip you off. Um, and they prey upon um, business owners that I, I don't want, I, I don't like using these words, but I really don't know how else to say it, but they prey upon business owners that are um, maybe desperate for work or a little more naive than most, I guess. Um, please don't be offended by that. It's, it's just the reality of what it is, and I totally get it. Um, and so it, this is what I'm going to say to you is if you receive an email in response to an ad you have offering your cleaning services and um, and here's the different elements that you need to look for one the the text in the email sounds like it's broken English or the sentencing structure is odd or they use words like you instead of your or um, the wording just doesn't make sense or they're saying things like um, moving to your beautiful city soon kind of thing or you know these types of things that, where the sentencing structure just sounds odd um, this is not accidental <laughs> this is happening because these people English is a second language for them and a lot of times they're based out of African companies or wherever or they're copy and pasting scripts that have been copy and pasted across three and four and five different parties and sometimes they get messed up. Um, if they will not take a phone call from you, so the best way to respond to any email ad is, hey, let's jump on a call and we'll discuss your job. If they won't take a phone call from you, that's a massive alarm bell. If they're asking you to do them a favor of any kind, whether it's, um, you know, it, there, there's three or four different elements that they use. And if they're asking you for a favor or asking you for personal information or asking you for information that isn't, isn't something you normally give in this part of your sales process to sell your services, that's a big red flag. If they're asking you where they can send money to you, that's a big red flag, right? Just be really aware that there is not people out there looking to send your business money and above above the average standard of what you charge. It, it's This isn't happening. There's no Santa Claus out there waiting to send you all this money. Um, any response you receive to your business via email, via an ad that you have on these free classified sites, you need to immediately respond by saying, let's jump on a call so we can talk about your job. If they won't get on a call with you, you should be concerned. If they're asking you for information of places to send you money or your bank account details or a, or a link, if there's a link in there they want, want you to click on, for goodness sakes, delete the email immediately. Do not allow yourself to be a victim in this process of trying to grow your business or out of desperation because you just need work today and this guy's promising you to pay you above uh, what you normally would get paid. Don't allow yourself to be victimized while you're trying to create a better quality of life for yourself. All right? If you have any doubts about it, Ask someone's advice. Post it in the group because guess what? In these groups, 
everyone's had these scam emails sent to them. So they, they, there's others out there that will know, see, have seen the same email a hundred times before. Um, some of the ones I've gotten, they've actually sent an address that they want us to use. And I go and check that address and there's no actual home there. You know, it's a business or something, or they include photos of the home and, uh, and those photos do not look consistent with the homes that I know are in that area. So there's so many ways that you can, you know, use, use your Google photo search and put it in there and, and see what comes up. But if there's anything odd about an email you receive in terms of, uh, how, how the sentencing is structured, the offer that they're offering you, the things they're asking you to do that are not consistent with the way you normally interact with your clients, right? Don't fall for it. Um, because I absolutely, absolutely um, hate to see good people getting taken advantage of by these scumbag con artists online that are taking advantage of hardworking uh, people just trying to feed their families. So please, please do not be victimized. Please be aware of what's going on out there. You know, take time to ask a question. Do a screenshot of the email on your phone and post it in the group and say, does this look odd to you? Don't click on links inside those emails. Don't give them your personal business information, right? That stuff's, anything they could need to know about you should already be available online. If they're asking for anything beyond that, that's something you should be concerned of. Anyways, um, I know I know some of you, this is very obvious, and, but some of you, you know, who are new to the game and, and new to the cleaning biz, um, you know, when you're eager for work, sometimes your eagerness gets in the way of your common sense. So this is for you folks, because I don't want to see anyone getting taken advantage of. Anyway, I, I hope this serves somebody on some level and, and hopefully, potentially, even if it just helps prevent one of you from getting taken advantage of, then it will have served its purpose. Have a great day, everyone.